Josh Casanova, PDJ number 51054. Five, I'm gonna tell you what's in my bag. Let's start out with my putters. I got a beat up 168 KC Pro AVR that I use outside of 30, between 30 and 40. It's real glidey. Uh, I can put it on a little bit of ante to hold the line. It's also good for soft approaches. Um, it lands straight when you throw it, it's it dead straight wherever you throw it. I got three Yetis, all different forms of beat. Um, this one is my putting Yeti. Uh, it's, it's a little straighter, it's got a little more glide. The other two are a little more stable, I use them for approaches. Once they get beat in a little bit and they're starting to fly straight with less effort, I use them for putting. They kind of just cycle them out. Then I got a Pig, which I use a lot for spike hyzers, uh, for flick approaches, for flex shots or flick rollers. It's a great approach disc, it's really trustable, it's like a mini Firebird. Uh, mid ranges. I don't have very many mid ranges. I'll start with understable. I throw a 175 DX Cobra. It's, it flies like a beat rock, but with a lot more glide. I can hyzer flip it. It's great for woods, great for control shots, great for long annies, um, short rollers. I've got a Star Rock Plus. Uh, this is straight. It's point and shoot straight. It'll handle a little bit of wind, or I can throw it on aggressive hyzers. Uh, I've got a 2005 USDGC Champion Rock. This thing is, is any line you put it on. It flies kind of like a buzz. Um, no, no, no. You can throw it on Annie, you can throw it on a hyzer, you can flick it for straight laser shots. It's a little more durable too. The flight characteristics haven't changed the entire time I've had it. Then I've got a stable, stable uh, Shark 3. I use this for all headwind approach shots for long uh, mid-range drives, anywhere up to like 250, 270. Now, fairway drivers. I got quite a few. I like to throw these more so than anything else. We'll start with uh, understable and move up. I've got a 170 Star Eagle X. This thing, hyzer flip. I can throw annies with it. I can throw nice and soft, easy, straight shots up to about 3, 330. I've got another Star Eagle X that is a little more beefy. It handles a little more power. This thing I can get up to about 350 uh, with a good yank, but you have to come across the grain a little bit with this one. Um, holds a great straight line, or you can throw it on annie, it'll pan out got two T-Birds. Uh, they're both Brinsters, different stages of beat. This one goes super straight. It's great for drives. great for when you don't want to throw a mid-range and want to throw a driver. You get a little extra distance. Um, then I have one that I flick. I It's a lot more stable. I throw backhand with it. I got an ace with it, uh, flicking it actually. Really trusty discs. It takes a little while. They beat in, but once they do, they start to fly straight. Then I got Banshees, two Banshees. One is super beat, almost flies like an eagle. Uh, this one is control flicks, spike hyzers, uh, flex shots. This one is more for flick approaches or really stable drives when I need to get out a little farther than a Firebird, but uh, still be stable. And then I've got a Jolly Launcher Firebird flat barely get it 320 feet and that's cranking on it come across the grain the thing still comes out I got a flick ace with it all right now my next drivers up these are all speed nine Let's start with understable okay I got four sidewinders got a 169 sidewinder that I use for hyzer flips for rollers um, this thing you put on a little bit of hyzer and throw it really soft it'll go straight or you put any kind of power on it with hyzer and it will always finish to the right I've got another sidewinder for max distance anywhere between 380 and 420 it's uh, can't handle any headwind but you know in no wind situations you power with a little bit of hyzer it'll flip over ride that line and then it comes out at the end then I have 
a sidewinder that flips it straight. It comes out at the end always. Uh, not much though, it kind of finishes on a straight line. It's, uh, it's really gummy, it's a star one. I just put it in my bag. It replaced one that I used to have. But this on average is an easy disc to get about 350, 370. Then I have a CFR sidewinder that does not fly like a sidewinder at all. It's actually, you put on a little bit of hyzer, it might flip to straight, but it'll actually just hold the line you put it on. You can throw it dead flat as hard as you can, it'll stay flat. And then I have a valve, which I use as a longer T-bird. I throw it on hyzer, it flips to straight, and it just rides. It kind of, these discs fly similar, but, um, Depending on the wind condition, I'll trust one more than the other. Then, let's see, staying stability range-wise, I just put an Aries in. It actually flies like a Sidewinder. It's by Millennium. Same numbers as a Sidewinder, it's just an 11 speed with six glide. And no effort, and you can get this thing out 400 feet if you're one of those people that can throw you know, 350. With a hyzer flip, this thing will get you that extra 40, 50 feet that you need to try to compete. I got a turn that is extremely stable at CFR. It kind of flies like a beat destroyer. Uh, it's max weight. This you can even flick on a little bit of hyzer, it'll come out. Or you can flick it on a little bit of ante if you want to. As long as you put height on it, it'll come out of it. It's a great disc. Rather than having to beat up a destroyer and getting that kind of flight. And then I've got two destroyers, both fly pretty much the same way. You come across the grain on them, they'll come out. You can throw it on hyzer, they stay on hyzer. You can flick them, anti-flick, it'll flex. Not too much angle. You don't, you don't want to release in a downward angle because they'll stay on that angle. But uh, they're great for flicks. This one I got from some local douche. And this one is just the, uh, it's the greatest one I've ever owned. And I try to keep it simple, not many molds, but they all do what they do. And that's my bag. Boom.